Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk to you about the navigation in SharePoint 2013 here on Office 365. As you'll notice, I am on the top site of a site collection, and I have a subsite here. And when I'm and that subsite has the same navigation as the parent site, so I can see the subsite here on the top navigation. But you can really work with the navigation in any way you like. I'm going to show you the basics here. First of all, you see the edit links here, which is available on both this navigation, which is called a quick launch, and then on the top navigation here, which is called top navigation. However, those words are there only if you have not enabled something called the publishing infrastructure, which I'll enable shortly. Now, if I click edit links here, you see I can drag and drop these things, change the order of them. I can also add new links with this plus button here. So I could do the countstrom.com, for example, and I actually have to put the whole address here. And then I can actually drag that beneath here also, getting a bit of a drop down thing here. Let's, if you drop it in exactly the right place, then that fits in there. So that's a rather neat way of doing a, a hierarchy of your navigation. Same thing goes for the quick launch navigation here. You can add new links in the same way. You can also drag and drop links in here and you can make it hierarchical also. So if you consider in a notebook a subdivision of the documents, you can put it like that in a hierarchy. If I go into site contents, you'll notice that I don't have a link here to the site pages. If I want that on there, I can edit links and just drag and drop this link right up here. You can also edit these links under site settings. You're here, in the quick launch, that's that one, the top link bar. But as you'll notice, these are very rudimentary. You can't really do much with them. You can create headings, you can uh, change the order by changing the numbers here, but that's about it, what you can do. So if you want more control over your navigation, I would recommend that you enable the publishing infrastructure. And you do that by going into site settings, finding the site collection features, and at the bottom here, you'll find the SharePoint publishing infrastructure. You click activate on that, that's going to take a few seconds. You see that it says working on it here. Now that that feature is activated, when I go into site settings again, you'll notice that the quick launch link up here and also the top link bar are both gone. Instead, I have this navigation thing, which um, is much more elaborate and has a lot more features. Also, these things have changed. The, the top link bar is now called the global navigation, as you see in, in the little image here. And the quick launch is now called the current navigation. And there are a lot more options that you can go into here. You can also define a lot more features when you add um, a link here. Add a link. You'll notice that you can actually specify if that link is going to open in a new window. And you can also put an audience on this. So a lot more options have appeared one, once you have enabled the publishing infrastructure. So that concludes my little demo on the navigation in a team site. Thank you for watching this demonstration.